close your eyes, watch your breath coming in, watch it going out. Meditation is medicine for the mind, because the mind has its diseases, it has greed, it has aversion, it has delusion, things that create a lot of trouble not only for you but for the people around you, because they can very easily pick up your germs. So you want to look after your health to basically develop your own resistance, because you don't want to pick up other people's greed, aversion, and delusion either. So you try to be very clear in the present moment. Watch the breath. Know the breath is coming in. This gives you a good place to start. When the breath is coming in, you know it's coming in, there's no doubt. When it's going out, you know it's going out. And once that is clear, then a lot of other things in the present moment are still going to be clear as well. Because when you're here with the breath, you're right at the point where the mind and the body meet. And so whatever's going to come up in the mind, you're there to see it. And if the breath is comfortable, okay, then you're in a much better position to look at what's going on in the mind and say, uh, if this is unskillful, I don't want to go with it. You don't just jump into everything that comes your way. You have your protection. You have your resistance. This protects you in a lot of ways, because we live in a world with all kinds of crazy ideas floating around. And if you don't have some resistance, you pick up the germs of who knows what from where. Ideas that people have, things they want you to believe, things they want you to think. And it's not necessarily for your own best interest. So you want to be able to step back and have a place where you can judge things clearly. And judge them in time, too, before they start coming out in your own thoughts and words and deeds. So this is why we meditate. Get the mind used to being right here in the present moment, right here at the breath. So whatever comes up, you can recognize it as skillful or not. And if it's not skillful, you also have the strength that you, not to give into it. And if it's skillful, you have the strength to, to follow through with it. That kind of strength is the most important strength you have strength of mind, strength of determination that you don't want to cause yourself any unnecessary suffering, you don't want to cause anybody else any unnecessary suffering, and then the strength to stick with that determination. That all comes from staying here with the breath, keeping the mind a good, solid foundation here in the present moment. So think of it as your protection. This is part of when we talk about going to the Dharma for refuge, well, this is it. It's the Dharma that we develop in our own minds. That's our protection. We've got the example of the Dharma from outside, we've got the example of the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha to give us some idea of what's right and what's not right, what's safe and what's not safe. But in order to really get a taste of that safety, you have to develop their qualities inside, and meditation is one of the ways in which we do it. So make sure you do this every day, whether you're here at the monastery or back home. Take some time out to get your own mind straightened out. That way you can go through the world safely. <laughs>